Peggy 16. What initially starts as a whodunit very quickly becomes a how could this have even happen? How is this even possible sort of crime? It is almost holly break, dead winter. Max finds her friend Safi dead in the snow seconds after seeing Safi talking on the phone. The first look at the crime scene is inconclusive. There are no footprints, there's no weapon. Police are completely stumped as to how it could have happened. That was the Lakeport police chief. <laughs> police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. I've been here before. Two promising young riders, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. You think it's a pattern? This is described as a quote-unquote impossible murder that only Max can solve. Why is that? Because Max can talk to the murder victim. Max has the ability to tear the fabric between these two timelines and instantaneously travel between them. You did something physics says should be impossible. Near as I can tell, Safi's death is where the timeline split. The killer is still at large in the timeline where Safi is alive. So we're dealing with two timelines and a race against the clock to stop the killer before they kill again. One question clearly takes priority. How do I protect the Safi I have left? 